Four days into April. Oh boy. A lot of folks in the astrological world believe that it's starting now, like the new year starts now. Really? A lot is going on in the planets. Who's gonna get us prepared? Oh, Please. who it's better? Who better, really? Then our favorite New York Post astrology writer, Rita Weigel. Welcome back, lady. Rita. Good morning, how are you guys? Fantastic. Better for seeing you. Is there anything you find that you dislike now more than that you had more patience for when you were younger? Oh man, um, <laughs> probably just like family trauma. Mm. You okay. know? Yeah. I feel like that's, I've left that's relatable. Right relatable, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, first of all, thank you for joining us. We always love thank hearing about me. the stars. Uh, so, so let's start. You're going to give us a little, a little something for each sign. Oh, and yes. this is just for the month of April. Is that correct? For the month of April, yes. Okay. A little um, kind of nuggets, oh, nuggets boy. for each sign. I'm ready. Okay. Let's start with the first group. What you got? Okay. Are we? Are, am I throwing it up? Are you throwing yeah, it up? Yes. You? Yeah. Throw it we have her. Aries, oh, Taurus, man, I'm doing it. Gemini, okay, and okay. Cancer. Is our Aries. first group. Okay, sorry guys, I'm a little unprepared. I'm used to seeing it on the screen, my bad. Okay. We so have it, Aries... we'll throw it up there so you can see it. Oh no, okay. <laughs> Girl, oh you just um, do your astrology thing. Okay. Look, Mercury we'll isn't even in line. retrograde, okay. but it's it's Mercury, early. Or Mercury will be in retrograde mid-month, but for now oh, we're safe. Phew, um, Aries is super fortunate to have two new moons and a uh, an eclipse in their oh. sign this month, which means it's pure potential for our Aries people. Um, Taurus, uh, Mercury is retrograding in our sign this month, oh, so it's really about radical rewrites. Okay. Uh, Gemini, um, Gemini uh, oh, is just oh. animal magnetism. They've just got to be careful who they're attracting and to what extent because Ooh. it's a sexy time to be a Gemini. Oh, well, well, well. Sexy time. Sexy time, Gemini. <laughs> Goes for Gemini risings as well. Oh. Um, and for Cancer, oh, wow. uh, it's Mars is in your sign all month long, oh, uh, Cancer. And Mars is the planet of war. It doesn't love to be in Cancer. It I know. feels. Um, it's sort of like in a, I liken it to being in a dream where you're like trying to land a punch mm -hmm, and but it goes nowhere. Oh, yeah. So yeah, thanks. everything falls thanks, flat, uh -huh. but it's uh, it harkens a time to really think about what, what, who, and uh, the purpose of your fighting of your fight. Can't wait. Uh, oh shoot! I've it, been feeling that for three weeks already. Thank you. Weeks. Rita. And it's a full moon for you, Marisol, here this week, which I know is potent. You're t I know. You look beautiful, even if you feel tired. You look luminous. She is very, just... very kind. All right, let's go to the next group: Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, and Sagittarius. One, Alex Lee. Mm -hmm. oh, we love our Sagittarius. <laughs> um, for the first part of the month for Virgos, it's actually a great time to roll the dice and revel and risk a little bit. Oh. Uh, Libra. Um, the Libra, it's a time to cut ties with uh, people pleasing because if oh. you don't have resentments and you don't have regrets, you'll just I be am. on a, a much more powerful path towards wholeness. Uh, Scorpio gets to mainline the muse this month because after some mainline. really heavy uh, kind of dark things that they've been moving through for the past months, it's a, it's a time of um, sort of like renewal and fun and creativity oh. and hotness. I love, I love that, that for uh, Scorpio. Hotness. I know, I know it's about time. Crazy. Scorpio's been through it, so we're, we're happy they get to come up for air from the cave for air. Yeah, and then Sagittarius uh, is really a time to think about momentum and, and its place in your life, uh, and you know, changing it. it change is uh, it's more about changing um, on an internal level rather than changing the pace that you're after. Oh. So. Okay. Can you expand on that a little bit? <laughs> for, for Sagittarius, does she need it? I, yeah. I, I need it. I, I, I'm very sure. confused by sit still. I have Something a hard time Something she does very that. well. No kidding. <laughs> so Sagittarius, you're really good at change. You love it. You love a switch up. You love when when the tempo shifts. You love to dance. You love to tell the truth. We love all of these things about yeah, you. Factual. Um, so oftentimes, being a champion of change, you um, you think about going without what the impetus for go is. So it's oh. like, what is what's kind of the meaning behind this momentum? You okay. know, are you changing because you're bored? Are you changing because you're uncomfortable? Are you changing because you thoughtfully want to alter the patterns of your life. Oof. That is, you know, Rita, that's that a, a lot on a Tuesday morning <laughs> at 10 a.m. You asked for it. You asked I did. Oof. Last, I have to sit last with that. but not least, Aquarius and Pisces. Aquarius and Tatiana. I, I did a quick stock and Tatiana is an Aquarius. Tatiana, oh. so <laughs> happy birthday. Uh, so Aquarius, it's um, uh, Aquarius, Saturn for the first time in um, uh, sorry, distracted. Um, oh. 
uh, Saturn for the first time in a long time um, has moved out of Aquarius and into Pisces. So this is sort of like uh, a breath of fresh air for our Aquarius people. Okay. And um, the, the Saturn, Saturn in Pisces is moving through their second house of value. So it's a great time to really evaluate what matters and, and what matters most of all is how they value themselves. So it's okay. a great time to like that. Let, let, last but not, let go, I think. Last but not least, Pisces. We cannot, that's my Pisces. Moment. Your moon's in Pisces? Yes, ma'am. Wow. Is that going to change the trajectory oh, of our friendship, Rita? No, no, not at all, okay. Marisol. It just gives me utmost um, sort of reverence and compassion for you being a double water sign. Thank you. Now I don't you think feel I my pain. I wish I understood pain. what was happening right now, to be quite honest <laughs> I, with you. I knew you were powerful, but double water, I mean, you're a water witch. That's I just all there say. is. She is small, but she is mighty. So she She's weak. a wee force. Oh my goodness! This one. Absolutely. Pisces it's so for April. What's their story? Pisces. Pisces for April. Um, so Pisces for April with Saturn moving into Pisces, it's really about adding structure to their fantasies. Okay. Uh, Pisces is ruled by Neptune, which tends to be sort of dreamy and dreamy. escapist. Yeah. Yeah, very dreamy. So you would think with Saturn in the mix, it would be too much Saturn feels like George Orwell and too mm. much Neptune is just like passed out drunk in a baby pool. So we oh. really need these two forces to work together. And you can read more about it in the April horoscopes on the post. I'll be Rita doing Weigel. just that. Nobody Do wants it. to be passed out drunk in a baby pool. That's not Please. a good look for anybody. Rita Weigel, we love you. Thank you so much. Thank you guys so much. Have a beautiful she day. She is just the best, that one.